But right now we welcome the number one pick for the 2009 NAB AFL Draft, Tom Scully. Congratulations, Tom, and uh, thanks for joining us. No worries. Thank you, Jason. It's been a pretty big build-up, hasn't it? I guess uh, relief would be the, the main emotion that it's finally all over. Yeah, yeah, it has. It's been a big build-up towards it, and, uh, you know, it's just good relief now. It's finally been announced. So, yeah, no, really, really excited. And, I mean, you said the relief. What about mum and dad? How have they handled everything? <laughs> uh, you know, they've been pretty good. They've been, yeah, just sort of this week's been a bit hectic, but uh, you know, now it's been uh, announced, I'm sure they're feeling a lot better. I would reckon. And now, you had some injuries during the year. Um, yep. Tell us about those and how they're progressing. The knee and was it the small finger? Yeah, yeah I just I, I was uh, unfortunately in the preliminary final against Geelong. I uh, actually uh, fractured the uh, side of my kneecap, so I just had a small surgery on that, and uh, it's progressing really well. Um, you know, I'm on track to you know begin training really soon. So, and my finger, I just um, dislocated early in the year and just had a bit of a, you know, just cleaned it up. So, no, nah, it's everything's on track and uh, I'm feeling good. Now, Tommy, you're the third number one draft choice from the Dandenong Stingrays. Who were the others? Yeah, uh, Jeff White first and Travis Johnson in '97. So, you know, it was you know to be named along you know some of those guys. You know, it's a tremendous honour. So. Well, what about draft camp? I guess that's a, a testing time for all young men. First, first up, I guess only a limited number get uh, invitations to go to draft camp, and then you put on display for all the clubs. You sit through interview after interview. You're tested in so many different areas. That'd be a daunting experience, I'd suggest, for a, a lot of the young men. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was. You know, unfortunately uh, for myself, I personally wasn't able to do the testing, which I was quite disappointed about due to my injury. But um, yeah, no, for a lot of the guys, you know, it's sort of the real first time you get to meet clubs and AFL coaches. So. You know, it's a pretty daunting experience, but I suppose you know every player who gets invited there, you know, really want, wants to get an AFL, wants to get an AFL list. So it's, it's a good opportunity to get there and present yourself well to an AFL club. Yeah, Tom, we're going to wind the clock back a little bit. We've got some very early footage of you, <laughs> and sometimes the greatest careers don't start in the most auspicious fashion. Yeah. Take us through what's happening here. Playing with a mate in the backyard, and you've caught one right on the button. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Um, well, there's a cannon, actually. It's both heads here. There you go. That's, that's how your manager used to smother the ball. <laughs> with his head. Yeah, you've probably got it down a bit lower on that one. So. Yeah. Well, I think that was the uh, the very same backyard that we might have seen a little bit of footage of you with the old man this morning. Yeah, yeah. Just went out there this morning and uh, had a bit of a kick and a bit of a kick and catch. So, How's you know, the old man handled the footy? Yeah, no, good. He, you know, he's, he's really supported me through the footy and, uh, you know, he's just wanted the best for me, so he's done well. It's, a, it's been a massive year, as you said. There's been a lot of focus and talk about you going number one for a long time now, but you've still had to juggle the VCE. How have you coped with the exams and everything, and have you got through okay? Yeah, no, it's been a busy time of my life, but, you know, I've had good people around me supporting me, and, uh, you know, um, just it has been a busy time, but, uh, you know, one I've really enjoyed, and, yeah. Have you already spoken? Sorry, then you've already spoken to the, the club down at the training tomorrow, I assume. Um, look, I haven't spoken to them as is to what's going to happen, you know, tomorrow f and f from then on. But I'm sure I'll meet up with them later on and uh, find out what's going on. I think they do f fries at Casey Field, so that's not that far <laughs> from your place. Yeah, no, it's pretty close actually. So yeah, it'd be pretty handy. A 10k time trial he's on. So you might be right. <laughs> well, what about uh, all of a sudden young players that come into the game exposed to not just a good lifestyle, but also you have disposable income? Any plans, uh, what you might be doing with the money? Because I think the the pay structure's set for draft picks lynch, isn't it, for the yeah, first few depending rounds? depending on where they're, uh, where they're picked. Yep. I mean, uh, they have the pay structure, so obviously Tom will be up on the top pay structure, which is about the $57,000 base. Yep. And we have a look uh, per game, 2800 Second round picks, it goes down in different tiers. And they have the ability to obviously, depending on how many games and bonuses they rack up in the first year, that'll go into the uh, second year of the contract, which are basically set. You can't up the second year yep. contract outside the structure that's put in place. Well, a little trade. bit of money coming your way, Tom. You got your eye on anything? Oh, yeah, no, no, not at the moment. I'll just be looking to invest early on and, uh, you know, sort of set myself up. Sensible. Very, Very sensible, young man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a concern. So isn't <laughs> Mum going to hit you up for some uh, rent? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, she's pretty good, so she'd be happy. I'm staying at home. Yeah. Well, speaking of mum, let's catch up now with Sarah Jones and the mother of the number one pick, Naja Scully. I have Naja Scully with me. He just said that you're happy he's going to be staying at home. No doubt that's the case. Going to charge him a little bit of board, I hope. No, hopefully he can save all his money and get his own house one day. Um, but he can pay for his own phone and his own petrol nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good mum. Now, what's the, the build-up been like for you? So much hype and expectation. No doubt it's been a, an emotional roller coaster for yourself. Um, I'm glad it's all over now. He knows where he's going now and it's been a bit hectic, but um, he's handled himself very, very, very well. Very proud of him, obviously, today. Oh, we're very proud of him. He's a, he's a good boy. What was he like when he was a youngster? Was he one of those kids that always had a footy in his hands? 
He definitely was and still to this day he's still kicking the football into my kitchen bench and onto the roof but yeah he's always got a football in his hand. What about watching him growing up? You've obviously seen a lot of his footy and got a lot of joy from watching him play. What will it be like going to the MCG and seeing your son run out there in the red and blue? Well, I'll be very proud of him, but I don't think it'll be any different than watching him when he was a little boy. So, um, yeah, just take it as it comes. A few tears and perhaps some champagne later tonight? Uh, A few tears, no champagne. (laughs) Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us and we certainly look forward to watching Tom's career along with you over the next decade or so. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you, Sarah. Now, Tom, we did see you in that early footage wearing a Richmond jumper. Is there, uh, are there mixed feelings? I mean, we'd all love to play for the club, I guess we barrack for, but realistically these days very few players get to do that. Would you, do, do you have any preference you'd like to be at Richmond or not fussed? Oh, no, I'm not fussed at all. I'm, I'm absolutely wrapped to be uh, at Melbourne. You know, it's obviously the oldest club in the AFL and, you know, they've got such a rich and proud history. So Player I'm absolutely two, wrapped to end up at Melbourne. I think it's going to take a few players of your quality actually to, uh, to lift them as well. They have struggled for a few years. Yeah, I, I think they have. But, you know, I think you look at their list, they've got some young, exciting talent coming through, you know, with Jack Watts, Sam Blees, and you know, even Jack Grimes, Cale Morton coming through. So I think, uh, you know, they've got a good young list and, uh, you know, I think, you know, they'll, they'll definitely improve over the next couple of years. Uh, but before they take the break, we should also thank the number one draft pick and congratulate him. Wish him all the very best, Tom. Thanks for joining us and thank we you. hope you have a, uh, a long and prosperous career at the Melbourne Football Club. Thank, thanks a lot, guys.